Grace to you and peace from God our Father and from our Lord and Savior Jesus the Christ. Amen. <coughs> Forgiveness is a topic that is at the center of the message of, of the gospel of Jesus Christ. Jesus' death on the cross and his resurrection is all about forgiveness. It's, it's the heart of who we are as God's people, knowing Pharisee who 
sees himself, he, he sees himself as somehow a, a righteous uh, person who, who can pass judgment on this woman. But when Jesus looks at him, he sees it exactly opposite. Because Jesus sees their hearts. He sees, he perceives the heart of the woman. He perceives her love for him. And he sees Simon, and all he sees in him is disdain. The woman comes in humility, kneeling at Jesus' feet, bathing him, giving him this amazing gift. And Simon comes in his arrogance. And which one goes away from See, Jesus doesn't judge us the way we judge others. Jesus doesn't look at the outside. Jesus doesn't judge, according to the old saying, Jesus doesn't judge the book by its cover, but by the contents of its heart and the contents of its character. Jesus looks at us and loves us. Simon the Pharisee was following all the, all the proper cultural norms of his day. He was following all the rules and the regulations. He was doing what everybody else was doing. He would judge the woman. He would look at her and, and perceive her sin and perceive her. sin. Whereas he saw himself and he judged himself as righteous. And they're offended. The righteous are offended when Jesus looks at the woman and he says your sins are forgiven. And they say, well, how arrogant and conceited of Jesus to think that he can forgive sins. But that is at the heart of the gospel of Jesus Christ. That's the heart of God's grace and love for us. Is that God does forgive our sins. That Jesus does have the power to forgive our sins. And so we can know that just as that woman who, who sat at Jesus' feet, who knelt at Jesus' feet, was forgiven because of her faith, we can know that we are forgiven. That we are forgiven because of who Christ sees us.